What have we missed? Uh, Dr. Peterson's had to go to another appointment, but I should be able to answer any questions for you. I think we got the gist of it, thanks. How many surgeons are going to be in there? Two cardiac surgeons and a registrar. Gerald will be in theatre sometime this evening. They need to send a helicopter and a team to retrieve the heart. They be suggested an urgent courier. And Dr. Peterson thought I was joking. Do we know who the assisting surgeon will be? We were hoping for Chris, but not available, apparently. Chris is involved in a disciplinary matter. He's stepped aside voluntarily. More bad news, just what we need. Hmm. Shame. Bye. Why does she have to be so damn perky? She's a surgeon. They get excited about heart transplants. She'll be lobbying for a place in theatre, guarantee it. Just heard the good news. Nicole tells me it's all go for tonight. Did she say if she knew who the nursing team would be? She didn't, no. But I wouldn't be surprised if she volunteered herself. That's one friendly face looking down on him, at least. The next time I renew my driver's licence, I'm definitely taking the organ donation option. Still no guarantee, though. It's the next of kin who decide. I keep thinking of that poor family in Whangarei. By the time Gerald knows what's happened, they'll be getting ready for a funeral. Something good out of something terrible. That's what we need to focus on. Yeah, positive thoughts, please. It's a miracle this is happening at all. It'll be nice to think there's a friend in theatre with him tonight. I'm not silly. I'm not rusted on, sorry. Why do I come? Hey? As a friend. Of course. Yeah, because I'll be in theatre tonight, so I'll make sure Gerald's okay. Thank you. What's going on? I need a cardiac scrub nurse to retrieve the heart. Melanie's called in sick. Well, I'll go. If you're sure. What else am I going to do? Sit at home and fret. I'd rather be useful. All right, then. Yay, free helicopter ride. Apparently, there's a room full of stuff that nobody wants, but they're too scared to throw it away. Oh, I'll take it for you. Thank you, Bella. So when do you leave? Any minute now. Go. You don't mind? Why would I mind? Jill's like family to you. Because this has nothing to do with me and my getting back together. I meant what I said. It's all over over. I know. So, if you're worried, or just a smidge jealous, don't be. I'm not. Okay. We're on. Call me when you get back. <laughs> Was that? What? She squeezed my hand. Well, it's the way you were looking at her when she did it. You're kidding me. Lana and Nicole, seriously. Oh, I don't know. I just try to mind my own business. It's always hard watching an ex-Mevelyn, though, isn't it? We should get back. I don't like leaving JJ for too long. You seemed happy enough with Nigel. It's Nigel I'm worried about. Has he got the stamina? He had the stamina to bring up Gerald. I bet he was a handful as a kid. <laughs> no, he was quiet and shy and teased a lot too. But he was a lovely kid. Hi, how are you holding up? It's the waiting that's doing my head in. Won't be long now. Who are the surgeons going to be? Dr. Couch and Dr. Bajant. I've never heard of them. We'll make sure you're all introduced before Gerald goes into theatre. I'd be in there myself if I could, you know that. Certainly not an option, excuse us. Someone's checking us out. Hi, Maya. I thought I should come and introduce myself. I'm Lana, Rachel's PA. Ah, Libby's old job. Hi. So it's you I have to thank for the colour coding system. That would be Libby and Gerald between them. It was me. <laughs> They're both geeky enough to fight for the credit. <laughs> so Lana is Vinnie and Nicole's flatmate. This is Tanya. Hello. Hi. And our mama Vaughn. I've heard all about you from Bella. You're a legend. Never been called that before. And you've met Maya, another legend. Wouldn't trust Nicole's version of the story, though. Oi, behave. I know you and Nicole were very close. It's all in the past now. <laughs> if there's anything I can do, let me know. Cups, tea, child mining, anything. Will do. Thanks. <laughs> I have missed you so much. And I, uh... <laughs> You all must be so worried about Gerald. Yeah. So give us some gas. Well, where do I start? <laughs> Lana and Nicole. Is this one he has been holding out? I'm not sure I'm fully informed on that topic. Lana is the new girlfriend. Or it was heading that way, apparently, and, until I showed up. <laughs> and ruined everything? It's not ruined. Lana's really into her, that's obvious. <laughs> Whatever, won't last. Why? Lana's about as gay as Luke. 
I like Lana. She seems lovely. Oh, no. Something hard about her. All that makeup and those prissy clothes. They're really girly, but she wears them like armor. If anyone's going to get hurt in that relationship, it's going to be Nicole. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Doesn't it? Not really. I want Nicole to be happy. Hey. There's been a bit of a delay, but the heart's all good, though. How long? It's going to be an extra hour at least. Sorry. To Libby and the others now? Not yet, but can you tell them for me? I have to call the transplant team. Sure. Uh, thanks, Vinny. Uh, did you want me to stay with you? Oh, still the gentleman. You need a break. Go. We'll be fine. Like I haven't got a hundred other things I should be doing. Oh, who would look good in this? You okay? Oh, he's keeping his distance because he's a bit woofy. <laughs> Change his shirt. That'll help. Well, here, have one of these for a laugh. What have you got there? Old nurses' uniforms. Bella found them in one of the storage rooms. I knew she'd be into it. They're not much use to anyone now. Be ashamed to check them though. Oh, did people really wear these things? I'll take them to the party, show mum. She's always complaining about the scrub she has to wear. I could give you a ride if you're going now. I'll even wind the window down. <laughs> it's okay, I've got my car. You do not smell. Only because you are my rose. Oh, please. I'll see you there. Bye. I'll see you soon. Would you like me to wait for you? I don't mind. Oh, no, no. Off you go. I'll see you soon. Oh, this takes me back. It's exactly the sort of thing we used to wear when I started nursing. <laughs> of course, I had the figure for it then. <laughs> this is last century she's talking about. <laughs> You can always count on your kids to make you feel old, can't you? Ain't that the truth? Oh, I will never complain about my uniform again. <laughs> Name tags. Paula Crozier, Jackie Manu. Do you know any of these people? Well, Sarah might. Excuse me, if they were wearing bright blue, they were way before my time. <laughs> Maybe Phoenix would like to hear this one. It's his mother. I'll give it to him. Hey, uh, well, what do you think? Is it me? <laughs> <laughs> right on. You know you want to. <laughs> I uh, think it's more Wendy's size. Go on, try it on. No, you don't be silly. Go on for me. <laughs> All okay? Yeah. Yeah. All go back here. My son, I'll be there when you wake up. We both will. We'll all be there if they let us. You'll probably wake up to JJ bouncing on the bed. I shall call Tan, see how he's doing. I know he won't be asleep. Doesn't matter how much we try and keep from him, he knows there's something going on, doesn't he? Hi, how are we all? Didn't expect to see you again tonight. I didn't think I'd be here. Dr. Bajant's had to pull out, so I'll be assisting instead. Good night for us all, then. Yeah, just heard back from the chopper squad. They're nearly here, so we better get Gerald into theatre. Get him prepped. Approaching Shorten Street. Take one more step and I will stick you, okay? You, you don't know what I've got. Give it up, mate. There's no one left to run. Now, we're all good now. Roy Mudder's fine. Don't make things worse for yourself. Now, you're in a bad way. I can see that. We, we want to help you. That's what we want to do. Can I, can I go back to rehab? Yeah, of course you can. Just want to fix you up. You can stay the night with us first, okay? That's it, bud. That's it. Hey, hey, let him walk. No, no, he's faking it. He's going to make a run for it. No, no, I won't. I won't. You are a liar. You're a dirty little druggie that deserves to be locked up. Okay, guys, lights are on, ready for landing. 